not going to want to bring my arm under like this just because he can come around and set up different chokes on me here and I can, I can be giving up some things, okay? But this is something that I actually, uh, Kenny Cornelius, and uh, on one of his videos just went over some of this and I hadn't seen it before. And I don't think he had really seen some of it before. He was just working with some different people and sharing ideas. This is pretty, pretty interesting stuff, so you know, I want to give credit. That's where I've seen it at. So. so I'm here, and this arm's under, okay? What I'm going to do is I have to, if I can create a little space, fine, here, but this arm, I need to come over his arm here, okay? I'm coming over the arm and getting like a rear naked choke grip here, okay? Right here, I can't choke him. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn away from him here, and when I turn back in, There's my choke, okay? If you don't turn away and come back in to cinch it, you're not gonna get that, that feel, okay? You're not gonna get that tightness with it, okay? And you wanna start with a decent grip here, okay? You wanna feel like I've already, you know, I'm using this to pry up on his neck here to keep him from smashing, okay? My arms went through here, okay? I'm trying to, I'm trying to wiggle out. This is gonna come in. If you can't get your hand turned over like this, just put the back of your hand here, okay? Now when I turn away, I can roll it over, okay? Now when I roll back in, I'm pressuring down on his arm, pushing in with the forearm here, right there. You can see how quick it gets red, okay? I'm not saying that this is like the magic move that's gonna work every time. There's probably a few things, you know, that they make it do to scramble out of it, but if you're getting smashed and you've tried these other basic escapes, go for this submission, okay? Give it a try and uh, maybe you'll hit it. If not, you see how it made him look, you know, he's gonna, he's gonna have to do something other than just smash you, okay? What cool little thing just happened, Alex, one of our resident blue belts, came up with a good idea. This is something I hadn't seen before either, is if you come back in and he looks away, here to try to take the pressure off. Okay, I'm locked in this position here real tight and he looks away from me and I, I can't quite get the choke. I'm just gonna pull this leg around here. And I've got this sideways arm lock right here, okay? I can back down here. I can bring it over if I get my knee in. But right here, you can finish this just sideways because that's sometimes even nastier and I'm fighting down. Okay, so that was really cool. He just had a light bulb go off and. Definitely want to show that. Okay. okay, one thing that I would do if I were you is this hand block this hip. Okay, you can grab this arm, you, know, you can attack this arm really on the near side arm lock, but I want to block this hip. That way, you can't jump over me here and take the pressure. Same scenario, okay. same grip, doing everything the same way. Okay, but we're doing it from top. Okay, so I'm here in side body position. Okay, now you can set this up two different ways. I can come here and grab, like I'm gonna go for like a cutter choke and set it up from here if I want to, come around, reach under and grab here. Or I can go ahead and grab this on his arm and then bring this around here. Okay, now this choke isn't gonna work the same. Okay, I'm not getting the choke here. This isn't about the choke. Now I'm attacking the arm, okay? So we're here, I reach under. Is this your bad show? No. Okay, here, I get the grip, I reach across, just for good measure. I'm gonna sit back on the arm here. Okay, if I really sit back like I'm gonna do like a back step, it's probably gonna just break it, okay? But if I'm here, I can put my knee in, and I'm just completely just separating the shoulder, okay? This is pretty nasty. All right, the other way, I'm here. And I don't even have to have this like in the choke position because he's not gonna let me do it. He's probably gonna be pushing here. I'm gonna reach under and grab here and lock that. Now I'm gonna fall back, put the pressure there. Okay, right there, his arm is bent. I'm almost getting that kind of Americana he's feel. Big, strong guy. And you know how they are really good at rolling you over. Okay, I've done everything right, I'm here. I've got this, but say he rolls me over here. Now, 
what happens a lot of times is if I'm here, I reach under like this, and everyone thinks I'm going for this like cutter choke like this, they're gonna block it, okay? I'm under his arm here. I wanna keep this high as much as possible. When I'm here, anytime I'm in the side body, I wanna keep this arm trapped, okay? I can even step this up here and reach under. This is how I set up this cutter choke a lot of times, okay? So I'm here. But, say his hand's up here, he's blocking this cutter choke. He knows it's gonna happen, okay? So now I just snake my arm under and just hook this up here, okay? I can grab his wrist here, it doesn't matter, okay? Make this one up. I'm here, okay? From here, I've got this lock. See, I'm up more than I was to begin with, okay? It's still gonna work when I come back here, okay? I can just feel the shoulder separating, all right? Oh yeah, you can't tap with my hand. I guess I got ready. <laughs> I got you, okay? So I'm here, I come back down, I move away and separate, okay? So we've got, when I'm doing this as well here, when I get this, I'm not just holding here. I'm biting down here, elbow in, tight, there. All right, let's give it a try. Okay. 